hi everyone it's wendy back at it again i'm filming this video for the third time so i'm going to try my best to be as short and and sensitize 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 this topic as much as possible okay i run my mouth too much you know it's very cathartic for me you know and, I, and it's almost like you are my therapist but i don't want your opinion uh, oops sorry and no i didn't mean that please leave a comment down below if this video is helpful and don't forget to subscribe as well it helps and it doesn't cost anything so let's go before i talk too much so basically this is the protective style the protective style that i'm going to use for pretty much the rest of the week i believe so as you can see in the thumbnail i wore my hair um at the side part which is a protective style because my the middle my middle part is the most damaged i mean you can tell here and basically i already showed you how to moisturize and seal so if you do not know the benefits of moisturizing and sealing your hair to achieve thickness in your hair and actually um keep the length of your hair because your hair grows it's not about not having your hair growing it's about retaining uh, the length so i'm going to apply once again a little bit of kerastase resistance is very good ever since i've used this product my hair stopped breaking um maybe not a hundred percent but it's way better than before and since um and today the hairstyle is going to be a half up half down middle part okay and then I, always, I use a dry oil. <laughs> Sorry if I'm talking fast. I really, really want to go to bed. I want to pray and go to bed. But I'm still doing it though. I'm still doing it though. 2024. Let's try something different. Let's try discipline and let's try to do the easy things. Because none of what I'm doing is because of the video is because i have to film a video i just come from work and i'm just getting my hair done um the way i would um without filming so i'm like i might as well turn on the camera and um show you guys what helps but uh, for me it's really the fullness and especially the, the thickness of my ends so i'm very happy that for a month i've been able to retain um good healthy uh ends and then what i'm going to do is separate of course it's a half up half down i really like this type of brushes because it doesn't um, break your hair that much remember if you are relaxed or even if you are natural actually and I'm going to use this to help me out. Oops. Even if you are natural, our hair, our magic hair, um, our crown is um, needs moisture. And yeah, it's a whole lot of work, especially when you live <laughs> in a country that is not yours. Meaning that um, all that melanin is going to waste. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm really just kidding. <laughs> kind of. I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's go back to superficial things. So here I'm trying to figure out if it's even on both sides. And I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to just have the same amount of hair out on every side. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I think this side 
May the women be more hair, more hair. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. I'm just proud just to show up, you know. And that's gonna be that. And this part, I'm just gonna use my hand, okay? As I said, I am uh, getting ready for work tomorrow. And I want to show you guys that it is very much possible to do this moisturizing and sealing and also take care of your hair at the same time. So the main goal is to not leave your hair in the same, exact same position when you're trying to moisturize and seal your hair, okay? Because the bun is good, but I know from experience that if I leave my hair in a bun way too much, for way too long then you tend to have like um, it's uneven especially the middle when you put your hair back so I don't want to have this situation especially when I know that it's not gonna be beneficial so I'm just going to start changing the position of my hair then I use this petal brush that thing is the bomb because basically it's going to get your roots in line okay and I just try to not have to brush more than two or three times and I really do focus on uh, trying to avoid breakage. And uh, if you spend your entire day brushing relaxed hair or natural hair, actually natural hair, I don't even know why you are trying to brush your hair. When I was natural, I didn't brush with a comb or a petal brush. I will use my hands. So now this is what I want, okay? but it's not exactly the way I want it so I want it to be slick like this I don't know why when it comes to my hair I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist because if I feel like everything is together I can worry about other things Perfect. So now I'm going to use my elastic and then um, I'm going to use, there is a couple of options. So <laughs> hi, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that close to you guys. And then actually this is cute. You know what I mean? Like it's, uh, but uh, that's not me. So just like this is perfect. You apply your moisturizer, your oil, and then what you do, what did we learn? Scarf! But you're only going to use a small section that only covers the top of your hair and let your hair down. I would suggest to invest in a silk pillow case. And actually that's real cute, perfect. So now I'm going to use this um, Care Care uh, Styling Wax. If you don't know about it, I don't know what to tell you. Welcome. You are welcome. So basically, note that I'm tired and I'm not trying to be annoying or anything. So maybe I should shut up and just do this. Thing right here so basically it's gonna help slick down your hair slick down your hair and then so it's the first time I apply it since I washed my hair so I can do you see this do you see, do you see this miracle so I allow myself to use a little bit more than I would um, other days because I I, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this hairstyle for at least two days, if not a week, depending on um, how my hair reacts. And uh, yeah, so 
and then you need if you do not own a brush like this and you have relaxed hair or even if you're white hi whiteies i'm just kidding hi <laughs> i have plenty plenty of white friends i'm not i don't mean no harm that's what the white races say i'm tired boy so let's uh, get back to the topic of this video and let's just brush so that the wax gets all the way up in there and then i'm not worried about that part because i'm going to wear my scarf and yeah so just make sure to lay down everything and one thing that I don't like is when it's not smooth so there you go so now I'm satisfied I'm not trying to have maybe I will do some baby hair tomorrow morning or something but for now I'm good I'm good with what I'm saying so therefore since I don't like to waste time on my hair in the morning see just by removing the elastic and reapplying it this part is laying down but it's going to lay down even more um, once I put my scarf on then my and I'm gonna do a little bun and I'll see tomorrow how I feel about it or I may let hit Met, uh, I may let <laughs> I'm tired. I may let um the end like out. I don't know what you guys think. So basically, we were able to moisturize. We were able to seal, and for the bottom of my hair, I'm going to moisturize and seal as well, but not too too much. And anyways, that's why I love Kerastase Resistance. During the night, my hair is going to absorb all of it. Because our hair is thirsty. Actually, it's, it's a cool hairstyle. I don't know, maybe very 90s. I don't know. You know when you went to the hairstylist and uh, they had the, the, the catalog and you were like, I want this. Probably not. You may be too too young. Anyways, going back with the dry oil and focusing on the ends, which is what the oldest part of your hair. So if the video cuts, that is it. That is all. I have nothing else to add. And yes.